Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to change your CD axle. And this is the right side. I'm going to do a video for the left side, the CD axle. And this is how to change it. First you got to take the wheel off, which I already did. And then I want to take the center, um, the CV joint axle nut, alright? CV axle nut. You want to take it off, which I already loosened it already. Go ahead and take that off. You want to spray some WD-40 inside here. Alright, let it soak for a little bit. You want to get this, put it back on. It on for a little bit just to save the treading when you're taking it out. Alright. Because you're gonna have to hit it with a hammer so you want to save the treading. Alright. So now what I'm gonna do is remove this right here. This tool right here. Alright. And it's gonna be 19 millimeter. For the nut, but the back is different, so I'm gonna find what size is that and go ahead. It is 17 millimeter in the back, and 19. <laughs> so the bolt is 17 millimeter, and the nut is. 19 millimeter, all right? So now I got air in the compression. <laughs> all right guys, so it's my first time doing a CV Oxley in one of these cars, so I'm like learning the way, trying to find an easy way at all times. ABS sensor, the ABS sensor which is going to be right here, and I'm going to tell it's going to be 10 millimeter to take it out, alright? And right here is the ABS sensor, it's going to be 10 millimeter. I want to remove that so you don't strain the, um, so you don't stretch the wire or short out the wire, you know? Alright, so now that's off right there. If you want to go ahead and take out this and twist it, I'm going to turn it to the other side so um, I can try and take out the axle that way. If not, I'm going to have to take off this right here, the tie rod in. Now you want to come here with a hammer. See the axle, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put some more WD 40 in it, alright? Alright, so alright, so when you beat it with the, with the nut on it and then when you go in some, you can take off the nut and tap it out the rest of the way, alright? still sees inside so what you want to do is get something like this extension there you go guys Alright, 
brake wire. The brake hose is good. There's no tension. It's on the brake line, so that's good. What's all in this is the lower control arm and the, the tire then, all right? So the brake is good. So now it's time to raise the car up and get underneath and take out the, um, the CV axle from there. Alright guys, so right there. So I guess I don't need to take down the lower engine cover because I'm, I have access to it right there. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and get um, a pry bar and put it in there. Or a big screwdriver, alright? You know what, I'm gonna take it down so you guys can see what I'm doing up there. Alright, and easier for you guys. And leave it like that. Well you guys can see, try to find a better hand, alright? So I just use both of them. Pull it. It will come out like that. That's all. Easy as that. So now, just need to take it up. That's why you fix it, you gotta change it. Alright, uh, send it to get rebuilt. Alright, so I'm gonna put in the new one. Now you can see that a different angle at a different angle. So go ahead and put it in the transmission right here. So transmission. And before you put it all the way in, you want to spin it. You want to spin it until it locked inside, right? Alright, so now I can't spin it no more. If I spin it, the wheel gonna spin. That's a good sign. That's mean it lock inside. So you wanna go ahead and alright. Just wanna go ahead and ram it in, alright? Now it's in. Alright. Alright, so that's good. I'm gonna fit up the outside now. So now I'm gonna put this in here.
right so I put this in these are these what all the, the spindle to the strut so the so now after that we want to go ahead and install the nut all right and after that you want to go ahead and install your ABS sensor which is going to be right here and put your screw in and also your your oxen nut What's up, what's up? and now is to put on the tire and you and that's how you complete your um your axle job all right 